you might find that AI selections are not perfect. They do a really incredible job most of the time, and they also massively reduce the amount of manual selection work, but in the event that they aren't perfect, we need to be able to fix them. My selection misses the wing in the back of the car, and there's some other imperfections here and there that I should fix. Active selections, like this one in red, can still be edited. To do this, I'll navigate to the Selection Brush tool. With the tool selected, I can increase the nib width, feathering, and I can turn on something called Smart Brushing. Smart Brushing is a tool that makes your Selection Brush pixel aware. For example, uh, just to give you an idea, I'll turn it on and select some of the clouds in this image. Note that the selection itself is adjusted based on the brightness and color of whatever the content in your image is. For this selection, I don't actually need smart brushing, but it's a really useful tool for more complicated edges. So what I'll do here is I'll brush on the area of the car wing that was omitted. And the next portion, I will find some other minor issues with this image and go through and fix them. I'll probably end up speeding this up. I find that it's really helpful to zoom in quite close and adjust the feathering as needed. With those adjustments complete, I can add a filter or make an adjustment layer on my image. But I find before doing those things, something really helpful to get into the habit of doing is navigating to select from the top menu bar while your selection is still active, and then clicking on the selection basket. From here, I can use this little button on the bottom right hand corner of the selection basket to add my selection to it. This enables me to save my selection and use it later if I need to make separate edits. From here, I can add an adjustment layer, like sharpness, for example, and continue my edits. At any point, I can reselect using the selection basket. Simply select this icon here and set this selection as a current selection. And so this enables me to add future filters or more adjustment layers, if I so desire, without having to reselect my entire image. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like, click the bell icon. That'll notify you when we upload new videos.